Hi guys. Today I want us to talk about the scripture in Amos chapter 3 verse 3 which says that two people cannot work together unless they agree. What is an agreement? Because it seems to be something very important to God that he would find it important and worthy to be in his word. What is an agreement? According to my not so much knowledge about this foreign language, <laughs> let me try to put it this way. An agreement is an understanding undertaken by two, three or more people to abide to a certain set of rules or regulations in order to achieve a goal or goals within the contractual period of time or a lifetime. That is what I would call an agreement. You cannot agree with anybody if you do not give in to their demands. If you are not humble, if you are not going to practice some kind of being down to earth, it might be very difficult for you to keep agreements. Because most of the times agreements do not come with so friendly terms and conditions. Sometimes you'll have to bend over yourself to be able to keep the agreement. What God says or what God means here that two people cannot work together unless they agree is that in his word he has set rules and regulations in every sphere of life be it being youth be it being a child or raising a child parenthood government finances marriage anything God has set a standard. God has set what I would call kingdom principles by which each and everyone who calls him Father and God must abide to in order to qualify for his blessings or his promises. Failure to that, you are not working together because you are not in agreement. So, I would urge you and everyone, by all means, in your most humble way or in your very little way of understanding, seek to read, understand, and know the word of God and abide in the principles or rather the rules and regulations so that you may qualify to claim his blessings or his promises. Failure to that, two people cannot work together unless they agree. If you want God to bend to your desires, then you must be very careful to watch that area where your desires are. Be very careful to see to it that you have kept kingdom promises and i promise you god is faithful he's going to do his part once you do your part thank you my name is national minor and i'll be here with you we shall talk about more and more issues about the scripture and about social life and about every, every other thing that we find important to talk about otherwise for now goodbye shalom be blessed. I love you all. Thank you.